One of the things that makes the Angavanta special is that here we can spend three years working with the students. Because we work with the students for three years, we can go into great depth with them into building issues and contemporary architectural issues and broader cultural topics. So instead of having a short period of time to work with one topic, we can really work on a range of topics in depth so that it leads to a very comprehensive result for the students. I treat my studios vertically. So students that come in their first year are mixed together with students that have been here three years, and they all feed on each other. So the younger students from international backgrounds are bringing in all kinds of new ideas and concerns. And the students that are here are also ramping those people up very quickly into the issues that we're looking at in the studio. I've been here, I believe, 12 years, and we've seen a lot of change and development. When I first came, we really focused on new technologies of design. Um, over this 12 years, we're now looking at new technologies of construction and new technologies of motion and movement and dynamics. And we can be very nimble and agile and change the topics year to year. The structure here is very fluid. So when I think something's interesting, we can really shift our focus onto whatever topics that are current. I believe that when a student graduates, they should graduate with a project. And the project should be uh, intellectual and design concern that's particular to them. And at the master's thesis and diploma reviews, we always expect you know, large-scale models, plans and sections, a very well-developed building proposal but also a strong theoretical and conceptual agenda. I choose the Angevante because it gives me a great opportunity not only to design uh, but also to fabricate and produce the specific designs and also to work with the constant exchange of physical and digital uh, techniques. I really appreciate the Angevante for its collaborative uh, spirit, not only in between the students of architecture but also in exchange with other disciplines. So we have great opportunities to um, do projects not just in architecture but also designing with for example industrial designers or fashion designers and there's so many resources that we can use and I think um, there's not many other schools where all of this comes together so it's a really unique climate that I enjoy very much. I came to teach here now more than um, 10 years ago, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago. Well, you know, I was invited by World Bricks, uh, and um, it seemed like an interesting school because it had a master class, and you have a students for a period of time, so by the end of five, six years you have a 
tremendous amount of expertise and knowledge and it's, I think it was a very good system and the results have been really amazing over the past 10 years. motivated here because of course there is a reward sometimes but also they know and they don't make this effort they don't get the results you know there's some places people think you know oh well you know I just get by and look with something looking like that but I think they know they're gonna get hammered and the final reviews or thesis reviews and I, and also I think when people really make an effort, they enjoy it. It's exhausting, of course, but it's the best, the most important thing is that A, when the people are learning something, they enjoy it. Well, uh, my name is Pavel Zeldovic and I'm, I come from Moscow and I studied architecture in Moscow for, uh, uh, for six years. And uh, like Angevante, studying Angevante, this new experience, uh, I always took it and I still take it as my second chance. My name is Indra Umbrasaita, I'm coming from Lithuania uh, and I was studying before architecture and interior design. And uh, somehow after graduating and starting um, working in a, in a field of architecture, I realized that the creativity is so small and I'm, I need to look for something spe special in this field. So welcome to the Hadid class here in Vienna University of Applied Arts. We've been teaching this master class for the last 12, 13 years and we've gone through the whole panoply of scales and programs which architecture, urbanism, interior design as well as industrial design offers. working with new tech, computational techniques and tools under the auspices of a parametricist heuristics to recognize these new opportunities of developing much more adaptive and fluid tectonic systems and also discussing downstream constructability of these complex geometries and really nearly real-time adaptation of design to requirements. Penny Rashid, a uh, professor here at the Angavante uh, School of Architecture in Vienna. Um, I'm, a, I'm teaching uh, at the school here a studio uh, dealing with uh, the future of cities uh, and, and the future of architects uh, at work in cities and how we work um, within a kind of collective means to produce uh, new spaces, new ways of living. Uh, new ways of, uh, of, of making uh, form, new ways of making architecture and space. So 
So what's behind me here in, in the space, uh, in, my, in my studio, is a, uh, a master plan for uh, an expo of the future uh, to be constructed in the Gobi Desert. Uh, and it's a master plan that deals with uh, various uh, components of life in the, in the future. Um, ways in which our vehicles will be run uh, by, by automated uh, GPS and robotic systems, uh, the ways that we will have uh, health facilities and places to deal with the body uh, in terms of um, altering our physical states, uh, both by virtue of, of uh, let's say, added uh, features, appendages, uh, drugs, and other things that might come into play. <laughs> So what is, what is the future of architecture at a, at a kind of global level? Um, architecture is changing dramatically and rapidly every day as a discipline. It's, uh, it's being very much influenced by other disciplines uh, and, and other territories, everything from uh, the sort of high end uh, of the sciences, engineering, of course, capabilities of materials, um, to the other side, which is social networking, uh, crowdsourcing, uh, the ability to actually share an information quickly across data fields. So those, those kind of parameters or those kind of brackets on the discipline are exerting a, an interesting pressure, let's say, on, on the discipline that hasn't changed a great deal uh, really in a long, long time. My name is Melanie Kot. Uh, I study architecture in Studio Rashid. Um, and I study here because there is a permanent and direct discourse with um, people that in my eyes have the potential to change the world. And I guess that's what art and architecture is about. <laughs> 